What's up everybody, welcome to GR's Vlog. So today I'm gonna to show you how to replace a kitchen faucet or install a brand new one. So let's do it. All right guys, so this is the kitchen faucet. I bought this from Amazon. It cost me about like 75 bucks. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. And it comes with pretty much everything that you're gonna to need to install this. Right, for tools, so I'll be using like three basic tools today. So this is like a standard basic uh, screwdriver. And then I have a small sized wrench. And the third one is pretty interesting. I've never used this. I just bought it from Loose for this specific purpose. And this is called Volt Socket Wrench. And I'll show you how to use it and why this can be very handy during the installation. All right, so this is the current kitchen faucet, which I'll be replacing soon. So this is how it looks like right now. All right, so before I do, even like start installing, we need to do some preparation, like cleaning out the area, especially underneath the sink, because this is where we'll be doing all the work. You'll see how complex it can be. Like I have like a whole bunch of stuff over here, so I have to clean it up. But right now we'll begin with like taking out these hoses. Let me show you. One is for cold, one is for hot water. Those are connected to like my kitchen, current kitchen faucet. So this one and this one. So before we like disconnect them, first of all, we have to like uh, pull it, pull both to make sure like the water connection is stopped and check here, like no water is coming off. You see, no water is coming off. Now we're going to go ahead and use a small wrench to take it off. I'll be using this small wrench to take this uh, hose off. So here it is. First, I'm gonna like loosen it up a little bit. Once it's loosened up, then you can pretty much use your fingers to like take them off. And please go grab like a glass or like empty plate or something so they're made in water. It's not gonna spill around everywhere. All right. Boom, there you go. Here it is, see, the water is coming off. Cool. All right, let's do the other one. All right, I'm gonna like spend like a few minutes just to like clear these hoses up. All right, so from here, things are gonna get a little tricky because I can't barely fit in myself in this tiny area. But the way I'm gonna take it off is like I'm gonna use a screwdriver to take one, two, three, these three screws off. And then I'm gonna use the other tool that I bought from Lowe's to take this big valve off. All right, let me take the screws off first. All right, so at first this thing was a little tighter. Now it's moving, but the way I've done this, let me show you a trick. That big valve is kind of connected to this one. So what I did, I kind of like moved it a little bit. So this kind of loosen up it. And now I can barely, I can just use my hand to take it off, which makes my life way easier. There you go, see, it's now just coming off very easily. now I just got this thing out completely you see how rusty it is it's been only two and a half years it's a brand new home but yeah but it is what it is so all right since now I have these things are taken off like this bowls and this washer so now this will come off pretty easily as you can see there we go all right so I don't have any use of this anymore I'm gonna put them on the side I'm gonna go ahead and install the new one so another thing, so this one I have is like three hole, right? But the faucet I'm gonna install, I'm only gonna require just one hole. So that's why I'm gonna keep this thing. So don't throw anything away because I'll never know which part you're gonna need a little later. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna install a new one in this hole. All right, so now first what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna connect these hoses. So before I do that, I have to make sure because the way it's going to be, is going to be like this, right? So the coal is going to be my right 
and the heart is gonna be my left. It's like it's pretty tight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the hollow one. All right, so I already hooked it up. So as you can see, this is how it's gonna be. Hot on my left, cold on my right. So there are like few things I would do. Put it in before I hook it up. Such as, like these washers. So go right here. And this will go like, oops, I got a sloppy hand. Like this, and for that I'm gonna tighten it up. Yeah, so you're gonna need somebody's help in here, in this case, because somebody will have to hold it with one hand so we can go underneath it and install these uh, valves. Or you can just try to like keep it like this, don't move it too much. That's how we can do it too. All right, so now I'm gonna put this washer through here and this will go like this. Because this is gonna go all the way up and then I'm gonna tighten it up with that uh, bolt over there. All right, so this place is very tight. So I already got it all the way through up here. Now I'm gonna use my finger to tighten it up a little bit like this so it can stay there. All right, just keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, see? So it's not completely like tight, tight. I want to like completely tighten up right now and like check a few things before I do that. All right, now I'm gonna show you the use of this tool. This tool can be very handy in this tight position right here. It's like in the right angle before I do that because this can still move, see, see? So I don't want to like turn it completely like this way. So I'm gonna make sure it's straight and nice. So since it is in line that properly, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up. So, I guide this through all the way up. Now I'm just gonna tighten it up like this. See how useful this is? Because like using a wrench up there, it's gonna be really tight. Tighter. I think this is good. All right. Since everything is good, looking good up there, so now all I have to do is like tighten this up, like connect these hoses up. All right. All right, since everything is hooked up, now I'm gonna turn on the water. Like this. All right. All right, it's completely hooked up right now. So now we're gonna check it out is, uh, if the water is coming out properly or not. Hot and cold water and everything. So first I'm gonna turn this on. All right, perfect, this is working. And now I'll take this one out. Oh yeah, my mom's gonna love this. All right guys, if you like this video, please like, share and comment. Please don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.